Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today we've got something a bit different to look at. This is the Eoshim Wing God or the EG16. So this is a 4K camera drone which is we've got brushed motors. Now when it says 4K it does 2K video, 4K pictures. It has an adjustable uh, gimbal from the controller. Uh, let me have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. So this is a 5G version. You can also I believe buy this in 2.4 gig. So it's just a 2.4 gig straight back to your phone if you haven't got a 5G phone. The instruction manual it comes with. It's quite thorough to be honest. Decent manual. And here's what you get in the pack. So this was sent to me from Banggood to review, so thank you very much for that Banggood. So this is the transmitter and the drone and in here you get your typical couple of spare props, some prop guards, uh, charging cable, etc etc. So today's video is going to be the initial overview of this, I'll show you the app and stuff like that and then I'll have a flight video coming up in a day or so. I just wanted to get this out to you so you could see what it is. So it's finished in like a rubberized coat and it's obviously got folding arms. The arms do fold and lock into place which is nice to see. Sometimes with these they don't actually lock but they lock quite nicely. In fact they lock very nicely. No wires on show which is nice. Sometimes you can see the wires sticking out the back of here which is never a good thing. You can't on this one. This is the battery it runs on. And this is a 3.85 1800 milliamp hour battery. So it's quite a nice size battery. Should give you some decent flight time. The flight time is obviously discussed in the video when I do the flight testing, etc. On this, as I said, the camera's motorized and is controlled by the transmitter. Underneath it has an optical flow sensor. And there's your on and off switch and there you have an SD card which is nice because there's a few things come out recently that don't have an SD card which I find strange but yes it's has an SD card and an on and off switch underneath overall the fit and finish is really nice there's no it's actually quite nicely made you can see if you look there I don't know if you can see that the bit in the center is a ribbon connector that's going to the camera so that's quite nicely done there's no stray wires around on it and as I said before it has brushed geared motors I'm not sure what the motor size is, so I don't know if it tells you. Let's just have a quick look and see if it tells me what the motor size are. Probably not. No. This has purposely got a 14 minute flight time. Um, but as I say, we'll, we'll look at that in the video when we do the flying. So. It's meant to have a 200 meter FPV distance. Now that isn't the greatest, but maybe at least to be honest here, because I've seen people quote five or 600 kilometers, which means five or 600 meters, not kilometers, for something like this, which is never going to get. So 200 meters is probably doable and probably is going to be as accurate as it can be, to be honest. The 14 minute flight time, I'm not sure about, because it's a 1S battery in here. So the bottom camera there is a 0.3 megapixel and you can shoot images from that camera, but 0.3 megapixels isn't the greatest, but it's fine if you just want to use the optical flow, if the optical flow works well on this. So the camera, as I said before, shoots in 2K, a maximum of 2K. It doesn't tell me what the F, what the frame rate is. So again, it's something we'll have to look at in the second part of the video, second video. But hopefully it'll be a decent frame rate, and it might have a a, a bit rate that's not too bad. It's going to have a better chance of doing it because it has the SD card and not recording back to your phone. So this is the transmitter and I, I like the transmitter because they haven't put fake antennas on. I actually like the look of this. I'll give you a massive bit of credit here because it at least looks different than everything else on the market at the minute. Everybody's doing a Z5 copy and the controller again is slightly different but I have seen this controller for another product that's coming out looks very similar to this one and it's a variation on a the theme I suppose. So here's your phone holder so it's got on and off switch here, you've got headless mode, calibrate your gyro, return to home, uh, video button that side, picture button that side, your speed adjustment is on this side and the angle for the camera is on this side. 
and here it has an LCD display so I'll turn it on and let you have a look so switch underneath to turn on and then you've got a power switch on here up and down with your throttle and there you go it's bound you've now got green lights at the back the lights are flashing because it needs a compass calibration obviously I'm not going to calibrate it in here so if you can see this screen I hope you can so there's the screen it's got some bare minimum on there but it's going to tell you your GPS lock etc and importantly it's going to tell you your RX and TX battery without having to look at your phone if you don't want to so it's nice they put the screen in it's not the biggest screen in the world but the transmitter would be huge I suppose if it didn't the sticks don't feel bad they're very very short I think that's how short these sticks are but they don't feel too bad I have hovered this inside and it hovers nicely so but that's as much as I've done with it like I said I just want to get the video up so yeah it doesn't feel bad at all the transmitter it runs on four treble A batteries and it isn't got the rubberized coating on the transmitter unfortunately it's more of a plasticky feel but like I say it doesn't feel bad at all it's kind of like the Z5 and F11 controller but they've modified it slightly but it's that kind of feel in your hand except this is wider but the button layout is exactly the same so like I said before you can adjust the camera if I can hold it properly so you can adjust your camera from here yes it does make an annoying beat like the F11 does on the Z5 but I do like the fact when you can adjust cameras on the transmitter you don't have to remember to do it before you set off because when you're doing reviews of these things I constantly have to land them and then set off again because I put the camera in the wrong position so that's the camera and like I said it's minimal minimalistic controller but at least it's a little bit different than everything else it obviously runs on an app so let's just connect it up and show you the app I haven't seen much information about this at all on the internet I haven't seen anybody doing a promo of it or anything so it runs on Wi-Fi 4K 5G as you can see there so you know you've got the 5G version and then the app it's made me download off the QR code because that's what I've done is FPV Go so I'm guessing that this is the right app and it seems to connect all right so there's your app you can see there's not too bad latency on here not too bad at all so it's quite good latency the screen quality looks decent it's a nice image coming back to the screen so this is your your app and as you can see it's quite a standard fare for these they've all got a similar type of app at the minute so you've got your distance etc on the top and then down the side you'll have your mode you've got camera and video button here you've got a map which seems to be working sometimes the maps never work on these things so i'm guessing that's your waypoint yep or draw map round orbit mode i'm guessing there it's not in gps mode and then you've got return to home at the top of there you see where it's flashing on the top but it's not in GPS there's your battery indicator so the app is I don't like the fact it's blue on white which isn't outstanding at all there's no SD card in here obviously either so I can't show you the video at the minute you can have VR glasses etc 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 it's these things are all very much the same I thought this might have had a bespoke app but I've seen apps very much like this before and sometimes that can be the make or break point of one of these but admittedly you're not recording back to this so that's what you have to remember so even if you do get glitches and this thing breaks breaks up and stuff you're not getting that on your image which is the important thing and that's why it's very important on any drone it's even in the toy grade drones they should all come with sd cards these day and age unless you're paying 20 30 quid for it. this is currently i think on the summer sale on banggood if you check out i've put a link down below for this if you want to check out on banggood and if you do fancy buying this please use my link to buy it because it does help out my channel very much and it helps me get more stuff sent from banggood and obviously gives me more stuff to review so in essence there's not really much more to go through i'll give you my initial overview impressions on it that it's quite a nicely built thing it's very visual looking and that is a good thing not a bad thing it's actually got a gps slot believe it or not in here so 
it has got that kind of look and feel about it. The quality feels quite decent. I did the 511 was it? A, a bit ago now. This is a much better made drone than that. The quality feels much much higher than that. But obviously the proof will be in the plane and I suppose to a certain degree the video footage on these. Maybe you'll have to remember when the video footage on part 2 comes up that it is a brush drone and it hasn't got a stabilised gimbal so it's never going to look amazing but we should get some kind of decent clarity out of the fact that it's two it's got a 2k camera we'll try it out in different modes and we'll also see how well this responds to this controller so thanks ever so much for watching I'll have the video footage up a couple of days probably and we'll take it from there thanks ever so much have a great day Thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.